Hey, I'll be Galrus here. So, um, this message, oh, sorry, this video is going to be about something that I saw in my newsfeed earlier today. And it's actually an ad that I've seen pop up a couple of times in the past week. And uh, I decided to make a post about it because I think it's really relevant. You know, just the mentality that so many people have. Um, if they're not in the industry or they're not in the kind of groups related to the industry, um, then they just have no idea what is possible online. They really have no idea at all. And they think, oh, there's no way that people can earn 20K a month or 20K a week or even 5K a month online. They just have no clue or no idea how or why that's possible. And I guess that's what this video is about. I'm just going to read through the post I made earlier. Maybe you've been reading it through while I've been talking, but if not, I'm going to read it anyway because I think it's really relevant. Uh, so earlier in my newsfeed, I saw a sponsored ad, which basically means someone has run a paid traffic campaign to that particular product. Um, yeah, so Facebook ads. Uh, every time you see a sponsored ad in your newsfeed, someone has paid money to run that ad. And if you're in the demographics of that ad, it could be that they're in the process of tweaking it. Um, it could be that they're in the process of thinking that you are in the right demographic for that particular product and if you're not then it could be that you've just simply joined a particular group make money online or you're curious at one point in your time and then therefore you know if they're targeting people who are in certain groups or who have joined certain groups then you're gonna see that ad uh so anyway, going on from there, um, before I go any further, I just want to say that Facebook ads are not cheap. If you don't know what you're doing and have not split taste, etc., several ads to find the one that converts the best or test out various demographics to find the best one for such an ad, i.e. targeted traffic. And here's another point, you know, targeted traffic is so important. You're not going to sell a Ferrari to uh, break people or people who are not in the market to buy a Ferrari people who don't like Ferraris, people who don't have the money to buy Ferraris. If you want to sell a Ferrari, you need to target people who have the money for Ferraris and are interested in buying Ferraris. I mean, the beauty of the Facebook ads is once you figure it out, is that you can target specifically the kind of people that are interested in your offer. And in the early days of doing Facebook ads, you're going to probably target across the board and then you're gradually going to fine tune that you're going to take out okay this particular demographic is not working you do several different ads you split test it and you realize that certain demographics are just not working in your ad in which case you cease the ad in that but you scale it up in another that is doing better that's really the way to do it um, so either way these people spent money on this ad and the very reason I saw it was because of either what I do for a living, my age group, my sex, where I am from, you know, my location, what my likes are, what groups I'm in. Heck, even now I've noticed Facebook, even um, the algorithms detect what you say in conversations. And the reason I know this is because I noticed the first time when I spoke to someone I used to smoke and I noticed that the first time I spoke to somebody about how I used to smoke, like I suddenly started seeing all these give up smoking ads on my newsfeed, which I'd never seen before prior to that conversation. And okay, at first I thought that's a little bit weird, uh, maybe just a coincidence. I didn't really think too much of it, but I did notice that it was kind of strange that I started suddenly seeing these ads. And then I noticed that happening something else. And then at that point I realized that, you know what, they, their algorithms even detect what you say in private chat so if you're talking in private chat about a particular thing chances are you're going to see ads you know full well if you go over to ebay or amazon and you look up specific products and you go back to facebook then you're going to start and see ads for those particular products so you know they just use every opportunity to target audience but that's the reason it works is because they are targeting the very people that are looking for that particular product you know it's no good targeting tvs to people who are not looking for tvs but if you have someone on facebook who is looking up all different all different types of tvs and they're in the market of buying a tv then chances are that person is then going to see on the newsfeed after um ads 
uh, about buying a TV and different types of TV and things like that. I mean, it's, it's actually very clever how it works. It's kind of intrusive as well, I will say that, but it is clever how it works. And that's basically how Facebook ads work. It's very, very targeted. And if you know how to target it and which demographics to use, which age group, which, you know, location, all kinds of things, you know, people who are in certain groups, people who have certain likes. It's very, it's not just a case of putting an ad out there and just hitting everybody with it because it's like, that's literally like advertising a Ferrari to everybody. Uh, most people are not going to be in the market for Ferrari. You do far better to target, particularly people who are either looking for a Ferrari or have the money to buy one. It's pointless targeting anyone outside that particular demographic. So, just to give you an idea, that's basically how Facebook ads work. Um, but anyway, I was, as I was saying, you know, now that I saw, now what I saw was something about a single mother making blah 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 from home online, which was one thing. But the comments were really interesting. Yeah, so it didn't even really matter what the ad was about. It was the comments that this ad was getting. And I'm guessing from the kind of comments they were getting, because I've seen many ads that have a shitload of uh, really positive comments, but this one had so many bad comments. So I'm guessing this was in an early phase of them figuring out the demographics. So maybe they just put it out to everyone. Maybe they just put it out to everyone in certain groups or demographics, whatever. But um, because of the sheer huge level of, um, bad comments that told me that this the people putting that ad out had not yet fine-tuned uh, and targeted their audience for that particular ad otherwise they would not have had that many bad comments it wasn't that the ad was bad it was that they were targeting the wrong people you could literally target anyone for anything and if you target the wrong people you're going to get crap results but if you target the right people you're going to get good results and so that ad told me basically that they were targeting the wrong people uh but anyway yeah the the comments were really interesting on that most were saying it was a scam and they were saying you know there's no way that can happen people don't make that much money a week you know that you know, people can't make money online it's all the pyramids or the scam blah 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 I mean, you name it they said it and there were actually a few positive comments on that thread, but there were a hell of a lot of negative ones, which purely tells me since this was a paid ad that they just hadn't um, fine tuned their marketing and their campaign on that ad and their targeted audience. Uh, so anyway, those of us in this industry know that it's not only possible, but many are already doing it and more. I mean, when people say you can't make 20K a week, you can't wait 20K a month. I mean, online honestly there, there are people making way more than that there are people online that would consider that small potatoes you know and i go on in this thread in this um sorry in this post to explain exactly how and why people are making so much money on the internet you know and you know how it's possible to make that it's basically you you've got to get a good offer you've got to have an offer that people want or you've got to have an offer that you are targeting the kind of people that want that kind of offer. And if you target that many people, I mean, you think about it, there are billions of people in this world. And if you target a hundred thousand people that are really interested in your offer, you're absolutely going to get some sales. And then what you do is you take the money from those sales and you put some of that back into more targeted traffic ads and finding more customers and scaling it up. And that's how you can go from 10K a month, one month to, you know, 50K a month, the following month to 100K the month after that. I mean, paid traffic is by far the best way of doing it. Yeah, you can do it with free traffic messages. You can do it from uh, YouTube videos. We've done it from that. We've gained customers. We've gained following. We've, uh, you know, absolutely grown our businesses through uh, YouTube, through Facebook, through free traffic methods. But if you really want to scale it up and target specifically target uh, in paid ads, then you really need to learn the whole Facebook paid ads. So in fact, even LinkedIn have paid ads, Twitter have paid ads. A lot of social media now are doing that. Those others are a little cheaper than Facebook. They have their own different algorithms, but um, Facebook obviously reaches more people more people use Facebook ads. So if you're wondering why you see a particular ad on your newsfeed, it's because of either you 
joined a group or you've liked on someone's page or you've liked on a uh, you know particular subject or you're in a certain demographic or they're targeting say people in the UK under the age of 35 who like making money online for example now if you fit all the criteria of that you're going to see the ad on your newsfeed and you know it's it's very very clever how it's done but it also for sellers it enables them to really target their audience so i hope this video was helpful um, i'm just going to read the last bit here so uh, get a good offer preferably some kind of product digital or business opportunity digital products are always best you don't want to be fun around sending uh physical products out to people especially if you're global um and then run targeted traffic to that and the profits that you make from that put a lot back into running more traffic you know don't put it all back in but put a big chunk of it back in and scale it up that way and just keep doing that and because you're going to earn more and more each month uh, you're going to put in more and more traffic each month which means you're going to earn more and more each month you're going to be reaching out more people more people who want a ferrari you're reaching more of those people who want a ferrari you're more like self ferraris you're not going to sell ferraris if you just put an ad out to just everybody most people are not in the market to buy a ferrari if you want to sell a ferrari you have to target high ticket uh people who are interested in that particular car people who have bought ferraris in the past people who have the kind of income to buy a ferrari you know you have to you can't just put an ad out to everyone and just hope that some of it sticks. You've got to target. And this is what we mean by um, really targeted traffic. And this works the same across the board, no matter what platform you're using for your targeted traffic. Uh, but yeah, as I said at the end, you know, I know people, I know, I know a guy in particular who spends over 250K a month just on traffic alone. And that tells you, yeah, he's basically scaled up from way less than that and now because he's fine-tuned his traffic campaign so much so um he's scaled it right up to that and in fact actually it might be even more than that now this is what this is like six months ago i heard he was spending that much on traffic um it's probably even more it could even be double that now who knows but um you know that's a very real thing. There are people spending that much money on traffic every single month. There are people making way more than that every single month. There are people making a grand a week, a couple of grand a week, 500 a week even, even just very um, you know, job kind of income levels. There are people making those. There are people making less. There are people making more. There are people making a lot more and then there are people who are spending more per month on traffic than most people make in a year and that's just the way it is you know all they've literally all they've done is they have a great product and they just learned how to fine tune their targeted traffic and that's really what it comes down to so yeah i hope this video has been really helpful and uh, i'll see you on the next one bye for now